Uh, my role today is to tell you a little bit about the story uh, of the garden. So I'd like to start with a, a quote from uh, Mary Manon Morrissey. Uh, Thought seeds are just like physical seeds. Let us invest our time in thoughts and activities that lead to the life we want to live rather than a life we want to avoid. So I was really intrigued by the thought seeds. And as I was looking at the story of the garden um, and talking to a few folks, I realized that the thought seed was born, this idea for a community garden, was born um, in a vision committee that was established by the WPOA, the Wood Creek Property Owners Association. So they had this idea, and then it kind of spread to a few of us, and we started meeting a year ago. Um, and thanks to the WPOA, we also had a to meet to be using their boardroom. So we started these meetings a year ago and started um, asking ourselves all these wonderful questions of how to create a garden, what kind of a garden, who's going to be involved. Um, you know, uh, we started researching and reaching out. All the time meeting at the WPOA, uh, they, only, they also gave us not only the thought seed for the idea and a place to meet, but they gave us seed money, <laughs> which was really nice. So we were able to open up our checking account. So thanks to the WPOA for that playing that role. Um, it's, it's, it's a critical role to get us started. So as these many questions came up, uh, you know, where? Where are we going to have this, this garden? What kind of a garden? We decided on an organic garden. Um, when we explored and spoke with members of the watershed, the Wimberley Valley Watershed Association, they were excited about the idea. In fact, um, they had a vision for a community garden uh, years before. So maybe the seed was from way back then. Uh, so a nice thread that came through to that. Um, and they said, well, we have some lots and we have these tennis courts. And they were excited about the use, and so were we, about reusing, just recycling the tennis courts into an organic community garden space. So thanks to the Wimberley Valley Watershed Association, we have the land. So, so far we have the, the use of the land, and we have the seed, and the seed money. But the other thing that came up early on, I think probably in our first meeting, was we're going to have a garden, we need water. <laughs> okay, we know we're going to have it here on these old tennis courts. And there were lots of discussions, well, we need the fencing, we need, uh, you know, what kind of beds are we going to do, what's the design for this space. Uh, some of the committee members went off to um, uh, visit other, or, uh, other community gardens and brought back information. Some people went online. You know, there was just so much brainstorming going on and lots and lots of meetings. So we said, okay, we need water. How are we going to get water? How are we going to pay for it? Um, you know, we're working from very little funds. And uh, lo and behold, we found another sponsor <laughs> uh, in Aqua, Texas. And they put in a water line all down here with taps. We can hook up all along the garden area. So we have, we have water to water our garden. Well, the other idea in this um, was we, wanted, we want to introduce a rainwater catchment system. And again, we've been offered support from Aqua Texas to get that system up and running. So we have the sea, the land, the water, and that's why we're here today, to honor these major sponsors uh, and the, the next phase of the um, Jacobs Well Community Garden. So uh, we appreciate all this effort and support, and I have to say there are many others behind the scenes. Uh, there are builders and residents and, you know, all the contacts we got through the WPOA and through the people that are getting involved. So our little core group is reaching out now to the, to the community. We decided on an organic garden. We're calling it Jacobs Well Community Garden. 
and we're opening it to Wimberley Valley, to the residents in Wimberley. So it's not just this subdivision, but we're opening up. Uh, in fact, we've been talking with uh, Keep Wimberley Beautiful. How can we support, uh, the, maybe we can be growing uh, native plants to support the master naturalists in planting uh, Jacob's Well area, to maybe support uh, Keep Wimberley Beautiful in, in planting the city. So there's lots and lots of ideas. I must say that we have a really strong educational component in this. Um, we envision involving children of all ages, adults of all ages, um, and uh, we've already started working with CAPS. In fact, they created, helped us create the compost that we have in this mock bed that we set up today. So uh, we'll get involved with the other schools as well, and we hope to have maybe some of Will's PhD students down here talking under our, our rainwater roof cover, our community area, helping us develop ideas, um, experimental ideas. We're going to have beds for rent all on this half of the um, garden plot. And then we're going to have between the fencing over there that's still standing, that's where the rooftop will be, it's kind of a coal barn type of roof with a catchment system uh, with rain uh, tanks underneath. And that'll be the community area where we can do our workshops and gather for our potlucks and enjoy the, hmm. the fruits of our labor. The other end, that's our experimental garden area. We may have some more um, beds, but they, they may take different shape, different form. We'll see what comes out of working with the students and the, the people involved in this. So, um, we are here, as I said, to, to honor the, the land, the water, and the sea, and to create an opportunity for the community to get involved in this space. I would uh, like to say one more thing before I turn it over to Duane, and that is, now that we have the dedication, and we're established as an entity, uh, we'll be looking for more support. For instance, we want to get this fence up so we can get the garden beds in. So that's the next phase. And uh, we're looking for someone who has the expertise to help us get the fence up. Thanks to the watershed, we have all the fencing materials we need. So we need the expertise and we'll get some labor together and make that happen.